I keep clicking like right on the uh, the, 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 uh, the icon on my desktop to play Half-Life 2 because that's what I'm normally used to, but then I'm like, oh wait, I have to do episode 1. Which also is confusing because it's Half-Life 2 episode 1 part 3 now, I think. Something like that. Anyways, I think I have to go follow Alex or something. But you know, Oh, that's all gone. Yeah, great, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Am I in the right place? I feel like... I'm not going the right way. Is this where we were going last time? I. Okay, now it's too quiet. I need to turn up the sounds. I realized that the audio was still too loud last time, so... Is this good? Okay, it's gonna have to be good. Alright, Alex. I don't remember if you come with me. Why don't I remember any of this? Did I seriously, like, get that far without saving? I don't remember how long this game is. Because the train is the end of the game. But I feel like there's still quite a bit of this left. Yeah, we had to go underground and stuff and use flares and all that nice stuff. Yeah, I would like to get another gun. That'd be very nice. Hell, maybe I just through process of elimination for me not getting another gun, maybe I will just have this one gun so I'll be able to get that achievement. Oh, my sensitivity is different than it is in Overwatch, so I feel weird now. Who's shooting at us? Oh, that's a lot of them. I can't hear you. Okay, where's my subtitles? Options, audio, captioning. Close captions. Apply. Wait, did that work? I don't know. Apply. Okay. Resume. Okay. Roller mines. Roller mines. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello. Bring that over here and I'll it. Now what? What am I doing with this? Company. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the, uh... Go ahead and turn off the closed captions and turn it on to dialogue only, because that's extremely annoying. Sorry, I wasn't talking, I was trying to read them. Um, and surprisingly, it's very distracting when you're trying to, you know, do a show that there's a... I should not be in here, I should just let those things fight. Ow. Um, very ouchy. Lots of ouches happening when I got in there. Can I just get like a, uh... Can I get, can I get a gun? Can I get any kind of health? Anything? Oh, joy. Let's, yeah, let's get in the train. So let me heal up real quick. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, hello. Get in the train! Get in the train! Wait, are these guns? I want these. What was that action you were just performing? Whoa. I don't know what's in this copy we made. Alex. You know, all things considered. Alex. Damn the combine. This is what happens to you if you resist. Yeah, you get turned into a stalker. That's why you fight. Or if you're just in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's why you fight. God, I hope you don't remember who you are. Alright. Let's see where this train is headed. Just give me a gun. 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 Any luck, we should be well out of the city. Okay, so Merry Christmas, by the way. It will be Thank God we're not on foot. <coughs> two days before Christmas when this goes up. But um, I won't probably be able to upload um, anything new on Monday or this Friday. I'm recording this a day early, so I'm recording this uh, beforehand because my sister's coming into town. And all that's good. Um, then, uh, this Friday I'll probably be busy, you know, doing things, and my birthday is coming up, so probably won't have time to record during that. Um, 
this camera is really freaking me out. Um, and then, uh, so I'll, I'll have videos ready to go up on... What is happening? Oh, these guys are freaking out. What? Can I not crouch? Oh, I can crouch. Okay. Alex! Oh. Hello. <laughs> Come here. Alex, you alright? A little traumatizing? Yeah, they woke up. Imagine that. We crashed. I don't know why we crashed. Like, what What caused this? I'm so sick of getting in trains that crash. Literally every single game I've played that has a train, it's crashed at some point. Keyword being in, because I was going to say, Oh, but the GTA 5 one, it never crashes. But, joke's on you. It does crash in, or it explodes in the storyline. And, uh, you never get in it. So, therefore, technically... Why? So I just watched, um, I just watched Barry's, uh, Barry from Game Grumps' video on immersion, and it was very interesting, and I agreed with everything, like, I think everything he said, but, um, it's, it's just another thing that it, it goes into game design, which I think is very interesting, but I probably will never get into it, because I'm awful at writing stories, and that's half of what game design is, you need to make a good story, if you were to, which is the kind of game I would want to make if I were to make a game, I'd want to make a story-driven adventure. Oh, hello. Oh, there are the bullets. Oh, because they've been shooting at zombies all day. That works for me. Yes! Okay, so I remember I've teased this before a couple times, but there's going to be a video eventually of the best um, objects to throw in this game. And the cinder blocks are the perfect example of the perfect projectile to throw because they are seemingly infinite in this game like they will they're a one-hit kill and uh they're everywhere like all over the place it's like every single one of their buildings had one of these just in it someplace so get used to this site because there's gonna be a cinder block in front of me for most of this game oh yes we get to get into the part where uh we can't see anything, and it will probably be really boring gameplay. Also, why is it so I did not intend for it to be this quiet. Alex, I'm gonna kill you if you do not move. Thank you, go over there. Yeah, an air duct. Yeah. Hey. Don't. You and Barney used to compete to see who could get in fastest without using a key. It's a nice Black Mesa reference right there, because... Uh... The only two people that knew how to use air ducts... Were... Um... Oh, I don't want to fall down there. Uh, the only two people that worked in Black Mesa that actually used the uh, air ducts uh, were Barney and Gordon. But the key term right there is people that worked, because of course Adrian Shepard did. No, wait, not Shepard. I think that's actually his name. I always think it's not his name because it's the character in uh, Mass Effect's name, but it's also a character in Mass Effect's name. Okay, if you could just not be there anymore. Are you dead? You're not showing your idle animation, so I'm going to assume you're dead. Uh, any of you guys want to pick a fight? Um, any of you are intact enough to put up a fight? Can I... I feel like I can't bust you. Where's my crowbar? It's also kind of sad because at this point of the game, you're, you're at the point, again, where you've lost your crowbar that you had since the beginning of the franchise, and it's kinda... it's kinda sad. Oh! Done! Yes! Come here. Oh! Actually, I want the rest of this stuff, too. Um, but yeah, your, your trademark crowbar, I think, never comes back, which is kinda sad. But, you know, whatever. It is just a crowbar, so... To be fair, in this universe, you're just kind of... uh... a spectator. Not, not, what, what am I trying to say? In this universe, you you don't really care about what kind of weapons you have. It's just Gordon wants to get through and survive, so I'm just sentimental for something I shouldn't be sentimental for, because it's just something I had for so long, and then it's just gone. Like, there's no chance of ever getting it back. Did I just hit you with a car and you didn't even flinch? 
I don't feel like that's how it works. Oh, yes, antlions, but I don't have the barrel. Pad, so, it won't be as fun now. So this is back when it gets into the part of the game that isn't as fun. Because you get introduced to antlions, and antlions are extremely annoying. Uh, an extremely annoying mechanic when you can't control them. And uh, they're, like, infinite, so... It's gonna be fun. Um, this is very scary. Oh, hello. Yeah, okay, just keep off of me. I feel like I may have just done a bad thing by throwing. Uh. Whoa, hello. Oh! A, a zombine! Yes! Okay, so now we get to learn a new enemy. Zombines! Are zombie combines? Imagine that. It's a real creative name, right? That's like a a, a zombine, right? <laughs> zombine, get it? <laughs> Alex. Alex, please. Even I am not laughing at that. So watch this. This is this is what they do. This is the only difference. Look out! It's got a grenade. He has a grenade. And that's it. So it creates a new enemy, like in half or in Dead Space One and Two, where there's exploding enemies that run at you. And these guys, um, you can actually steal their grenades and throw them right back at them. So it's very nice. Light that thing up. Okay, hang on. Let me give me give me your grenade. Just blow that grenade. There we go. There we go. Got him. Haha, <laughs> got him. A funny dank meme. Whoa, it didn't one hit him? I'm genuinely surprised. Ooh, hello. Wait. Alex, I can't have you dying on me. Come on. Good thing you have way more health than I do. It's still on hard, right? It does not feel like this is hard. Whoa, hello. Ow. I'm also getting real sick of my battery running out. I'm also sick of... <sighs> I'm sick of Alex dying. That's another thing I'm sick of. So I need to actually start being careful now because Alex apparently is a very volatile ingredient in this experiment. So I need this to explode. Oh. What did I hit? What did I hit? I just threw it up in the air and I exploded. Maybe I hit the ceiling. Is there something like right there? I feel like there isn't, right? Oh. Nothing could survive that. Just blow that up. Come on, headshots. Headshots matter in this. You gotta remember, headshots matter in this. And I can't sprint because that will use power. Okay, headshots matter. Just remember, headshots matter. That's the only vice in this game. Whoa, did she just kick that thing in the stomach? Sorry. That's actually a really good detail that they added that she blocks the light. I feel immersed with a little tiny detail. Getting back to the whole immersion thing. So yeah, if you've never seen um, that video, I would go out and watch it. Same with his uh, Skyward Sword video, which, having never played Skyward Sword, uh, seems like it made a lot of sense. But Okay, I'm going to let my battery recharge for a bit. Alex, I'm trying... Oh, I don't have any bullets. I don't have any bullets at all. Okay, guess I'm back to cinder block. I can't see anything. Um, okay, so if I'm, if I'm following the trend here, it led me to believe that there will be an air duct. Shut up, shut up Alex. Stop being clever. Stop being a well-designed side character. Oh, and here we have our first barnacle, which I cannot kill, so... Oh, I can. Oh. Whoa, he had a head grab inside of him. Interesting. I didn't know they could do that. There we go. Let's turn this on. Okay, and now we have power for the door to open that. So, hello. Boom. And now there's more barnacles somehow. Ow. Stop. 
Oh my goodness, my leg just twitched really hard. Where is that flare? Okay, first of all, you need to get off of Alex. Um, and I feel like there's something else out there. Okay, I wasted that flare, but whatever. Let's just keep on going up. So, I think my main mistake I'm making with this playthrough is I've had literally nothing to talk about. Um, mainly because I haven't been prepping. Usually I have, like, an idea or something. I feel like I've talked about this before. Usually I have, like, an idea or something I want to talk about. And usually also my voice isn't cracking like a maniac. Um, but yeah, it's Christmas time. Everything's going pretty well. Everything's going well in life. Um, the only thing I have to say is that I'm just waiting until after Christmas now to take my EMT test and I'll be ready to go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lock this up before the tutorial starts. Um, none of that. None of that. Yeah, see, so, antlines spawn out of these, and then you plug it up with a car. That's what it teaches you, so. <sighs> it, it was very, it is very clever, um, game design, if I hadn't seen it before. So I think... I'm gonna have to do it a couple more times. No, these are head crabs. These don't worry me as much. Because they're not as scary. Be purely because of the reason that there aren't a billion of them. Like, there was that one part in the first game. Not the first game, but Half Life 2. Not Episode 2. Where it was like there were a billion of them. And that was pretty spooky. This is going to be difficult, isn't it? Just gotta punch these things with barrels. So, Mike has been really getting, trying to get me into JoJo, and it's I, I don't have anything against it. It's just I haven't had any time. But now that I'm out of school, I have enough time to do things. So I feel like I'm either gonna rewatch Yu Yu Hakusho or I'm gonna start watching JoJo, um, which will make Mike happy. But since he never watches these, he'll never know. Rip in peace. Also been poisoned by Jake to say rip in peace or say rip. Um, so, thanks Jake for that. Even though Griffin's the only one who watches these, thanks Griffin, you're my best friend. It's a real thing, it's a real note I have for you. Oh, hello. Actually, I was thinking about, I need to make a list of what I share with people, like what kind of friends they are to me. Just out of curiosity, I probably won't publicize it, but it's just like, a curiosity thing I have, like who's music friends, who are movie friends, who are intelligent conversation friends, who are people who are interested to learn from me, or I'm interested to learn from, stuff like that. People I know from Minnesota, people I know from other interests, people I know from work, just things like that. Just a plain old curiosity thing. Maybe I'll publicize it, maybe I won't, I don't know, I don't want to offend anybody, I don't want to out anybody for what I'm interested in, or anything like that. Um, I think I'm right on my time limit. So we've gotten out of the Citadel, as far as I can tell. We're probably below it now, I think. Um, but now we're into the lesser fun part of this game. Where, uh... We, uh... We have to fight a lot of antlines. And then we're gonna have to go back into the dark eventually. But that's later. So I can actually have a gun again. Hello. Um, yeah, I'm gonna save right here as this antline is charging towards us. So, yeah. Have fun, future me. <laughs>